Out of new numbers just in here tonight on Florida's budget, and it shows the economic shutdown from COVID has cost the state more than a billion dollars. State Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders looking into this, how this now puts pressure on the governor to make cuts for next year. State economists had Floridians see in red this morning. Their new report shows May revenue missed expectations by $780 million. It comes on top of an abysmal April, which was under by $878 million. All told, Florida now more than $1.4 billion off its mark. Economists say those losses came mostly from declines in tourism and hospitality, huge staples of Florida's tax revenue. Florida Senate President addressed the decline in a statement reassuring the state's $4 billion in reserves and CARES Act dollars would help see it through. DeSantis, however, has already been promising a lot of cuts for next year's budget to make ends meet. Estimations now put SNPs at close to a billion. There's going to be things that are in my budget that I'm definitely going to veto um, just because the fiscal picture is different. With teacher raises secure following a bill signing, speculation is state workers may not see their planned pay bump. Others worry money will come from housing or environmental programs, maybe even education in general. Serious action must be taken to limit spending and increase revenues moving forward. Budget watchdog Florida Tax Watch again urged the governor to follow its recommendations today. The group suggesting vetoes to almost every project for individual lawmakers, major cuts to temporary state employees, more bonding use, and setting aside 5% of the state's general revenue for reserves. Tax Watch says Florida can save about $6 billion if all of its recommendations are followed. DeSantis is expected to announce his vetoes next week, and time is ticking. He has to approve the budget before July 1st. That's the latest out here. Back to you.